Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. I have so much to talk about in this video, but today I am going to be reviewing the brand new NARS Ignited Palette, as well as doing a pretty in-depth comparison to her other palettes, specifically the very similar looking, the Wanted Palette. So if you're interested in hearing my thoughts, then just keep watching. <laughs> So it's been a hot minute since I've come in with a review, but there just hasn't been much catching my eye and then this palette was released. So the major facts about this guy is that it is currently $59. You can get it on the NARS website as well as the Sephora website right now. It will be available in stores at Sephora on December 10th. This eyeshadow is limited edition and it is described as a palette featuring 12 multi-dimensional shades in matte, shimmer, and glitter finishes for all skin tones. Now let's get into the packaging of this guy. The palette is a kind of watercolored purple and pink hard covering, of course, with the NARS name on it. I like the packaging, but for some reason it isn't my favorite, but it's still really nice. But then you're opening it and you're going to reveal 12 shades and they're in very clear different finishes. You're getting three mattes, three shimmers, and six shimmer glitter colors. So in this clip, I am showing you the swatches of the colors in this palette. Again, the finishes are very clear in that it's matte, shimmer, and then glitter. This palette definitely has more of a pinky peach color theme. As far as how the color swatch, they swatched beautifully for the most part. I did notice a little bit of chunkiness and looseness in the glitter formulas, but I will get into that in a second. So what I really like immediately about this palette is it is definitely a multi-dimensional, multi-finished palette. So that really allows for such an interesting and creative look that is going to be very interesting on the eye. This is one of the first palettes for NARS that I really do see the multi-dimensional and shade shifting formula. NARS did kind of tease it in their old wanted palette, but they really went all out for this palette. So we're gonna talk about the formulas specifically. So the first column, you get three matte shades. These are beautiful NARS quality matte shades. They blended beautifully. They're very smooth and very pigmented. I'm not gonna say anything else about those mattes. I really like the choice as well. You get a lovely, this for me is a transition shade on somebody with a deeper skin tone. This is going to be like a great highlight or base color. I do wish there was like a lighter color to set my brows but that's no big deal. You get this more medium brown, which of course is very necessary. You do get this matte sienna color, which is a little bit more warm. Personally, I would have just had liked a darker plum color, a violet color. I just think a deep plum would have fit better in this palette than this color, but that's just my personal preference, but the formula is amazing. So this next row, you're going to have more of a shimmer formula. This color is kind of a hybrid between that glitter and shimmer formula because it is smooth smoother than the glitter formula, but it is chunkier than the shimmer color, if that makes sense. These two shades, you're not getting a super crazy amount of pigment. These are a bit softer shimmers, but they are very beautiful. These shimmers, I find, do work better with a wet brush or with your fingers. Just press it in. That's how you're going to get the most payoff with these colors. But with a brush, it will apply a very soft finish to the lid, which is really great for every day. And again, this color is very beautiful, a little bit more chunky than the others. But if you just apply it with a finger, you're going to get a kick butt look all over the lid with that color. I mean, very beautiful. And then these six shades are all very unique to NARS, I feel. Uh, this one in particular is the most unique shade I've ever seen from them. It is a plum with like green and blue glitters to it. This is more of a purple with yellow glitter shift to it. We have a beige champagne with a pinky shift to it. This one is a light pink with white and gold shifts to it. This one right here is going to be a deeper pink with yellow shift to it. And then this one right here is an eggplant with pink in it. Now this color, I will say I'm not too crazy about in all of this palette. This is my least favorite. I did put it all over my lid for this look and it did turn out a bit patchy. I do like how the base color does lay and you can see the actual glitter particles laying on top. They just don't fall off your eye. 
but it was a little patchy so that's definitely my least favorite color in the palette. The rest of the glitter formula I do find works best while applying it to a sticky base. Even with your finger I find that you are going to have a lot of fallout. The NARS glitter formula isn't the best. It is a bit more chunky and flaky than other glitter formulas such as Pat McGrath which you know is the end all be all of glitter formulas. So it's not as good as that. A little bit more chunky. If you apply it with a sticky base that's going to make it better but I honestly think the best way to apply this is with either a wet brush or a mixing medium. This color was beautiful as a lid topper with my finger, but it just took it to the next level when I did apply it with a mixing medium to make it more liquidy. And that's how I got the most even glitter effect all over my eye. It was The glitter wasn't looking quite as good until I used that mixing medium, and then all of a sudden it became a even layer of glitter. With that glitter formula, you are going to get a bit more fallout, but you have to work with it and you just have to be aware of it. I think it is beautiful and I think it is a nice change in formula for NARS. Do I think they mastered it? I think it could use a little bit of work, but it is still beautiful. Um, I wouldn't recommend just going in with a dry brush with those glitter shades. I just feel like if it's not all on your face when you apply, it will be at the end of the day. So you definitely have to make it work. So really quickly, I'm going to show you how the shadow is applied by the look that I created. So I started off with Hammett all over my crease as the base color. And then I went in with the shade Sophia, which is the matte brown. And I tried to focus that on my outer corner and blend that into my crease to create some depth. Then I went in with the shade Point Noir. Point Noir? Point Noir? Well, whatever. It's the sparking eggplant and I put that all over my lid. With the brush, I wasn't crazy about it. I was getting fallout, but then I did go in with my finger. It got a little better, but it still was patchy at the end of the day and I just wasn't in love with the shade. Now, if I get a glitter palette, I always tend to create like a single monochromatic look with just a glitter all over lid. That's just what I'm all about. I love glitter shades for that purpose. I think the look is just so much better. So I did go in with this shade right here and I applied it first with a brush and then with a finger. I wasn't that impressed with it. I thought it was pretty but I didn't think it was all that. But I really love the shade because it did have like blue duochromes. The shade is very sheer. There isn't much of a color base to it. When I went in with a mixing medium, I dipped my brush in the mixing medium and then in this color. And then that is when the magic happened with the shadow. There was so much more glitter to my eye. It applied much more evenly. It looks so much more even. And I am now in love with this shade now that I know how to use it. So these glitter shades, you will find they don't have that much of a base color. They are absolutely amazing for layering and mixing with other palettes or even layering over on top of the colors that you already have especially these three right here these would layer amazingly over these three you can get a really awesome multi-dimensional look with this palette you can do a lot of different things i think it allows for a lot of creativity i'm very into the color theme of this this is like my kind of colors and the look that i'm wearing i feel is very very different it's like plummy brown brown but also cool tone I don't know it's a beautiful very unique look that I definitely couldn't get this with the other NARS palettes however using some of the other shades you can and I'm about to go into that immediately when the ignited palette came out and I saw the pictures I and a lot of others thought it looked very similar to the palette that released last year which is the Wanted palette. Now this is a gorgeous palette and when this came out this was easily my favorite palette from NARS. So I'm just going to show you the two so you can compare. I mean they are very very similar. Also to compare it to I do have the Loaded palette which I do believe came out two years ago or so. I looked it up online. They no longer sell this palette. You can get the Wanted palette on the NARS website but they took it off of Sephora. So this is the Loaded palette compared to it. This is clearly much more warm. They do have a couple similar matte shades but this is definitely not as similar as compared to the Wanted palette. So we are going to dive into the similarities in a second I'm gonna take you to the footage to where I swatched them just so you can see. you guys this is absolutely crazy so on the top row of my arm I have the ignited palette swatch in that column order so the mats the shimmers and the glitters and then down here I have the old wanted palette swatched 
in the matching order of the color that I feel they're all similar. Now there's three colors out here because I feel like they don't have a color in the Ignited palette. But look at this. These two colors. So the one in the Wanted palette is slightly deeper. There's a similar chocolate brown. This one in the Wanted is slightly warmer. This is slightly cooler. There's like a cognac sienna color. This one in the Wanted is slightly more pink than in the Ignited palette. There's a shimmer formula. They aren't the exact same color, but a very similar formula. The one from the Ignited is slightly more peach, whereas this one is slightly more champagne. There is a more orangey peachy color from the Ignited palette. That one I felt didn't really have a match, but if you mix like maybe this color and this color, you can get a similar color to that. Um, this color is basically the same as this color, except the one in the Wanted is slightly more pigmented, whereas this one is a little bit more loose in the formula so these are different formulas but same shade there is this really light white with pink to it um, in the wanted palette these two aren't that similar but there is that same highlighting color like I would use these on the same spots on my eyes but these aren't exactly the same this color is a really sheer glitter topper from the ignited palette I felt that it didn't have a match so I left it blank these two aren't a match either, however, I did feel in the pans they look the same. These are the two green colors, but this one has such a strong duochrome. These two are completely different, I just wanted to point that out. Right here we have the same champagne color. They're both champagne-y, just one is more deeper than the other. However, the one they're both not a super pigmented base. The one in the Wanted is slightly more pigmented, but not that much. These two aren't exactly the same, but the formula is very similar, um, and they are in the same color family. This is obviously much more copper, but it does have a pink duochrome to it, which in this lighting isn't showing off. They look actually a little bit more similar in person. Um, this deep color that I put on my eyelid is quite similar to this chocolate brown. This one obviously has a more plum base, or sorry, this one has a more plum base to it. This one from The Wanted has a more brown base to it. And there's also no glitters in this one, whereas there is in the Ignited one. And then what The Wanted palette had that The Ignited definitely didn't have was a black and a white. I just felt like these two were the outliers and they didn't really have a friend. But can we just... I'm just saying, this is crazy. All right. <laughs> also, my arm is too small, but I did swatch against the Toasted palette, I believe it's called, the Oldest palette. I did swatch against the Oldest palette, and they did have similar mattes, but none of the shimmers matched up, just in case you were wondering. But the good thing about the mattes matching is that these are really good mattes, they're good quality, and I mean, you can never get too many of them just because they look good with every look. But still, this is kind of ridiculous. As far as the Loaded palette goes, I would say this is pretty different from the Ignited palette with the exception of like one or two of the matte colors. But if you have the Loaded palette, I don't think you should stray away from the Ignited palette. However, if you do have the Wanted palette, you may want to reconsider getting the Ignited palette. I do find them to be extremely 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 similar i think if you're not a huge makeup lover you definitely can do without the ignited if you already have the wanted if you were a huge lover of these two glitter shades in the wanted palette and you want more i mean this is a good palette to check out but I don't know, these are mighty similar. I'm just gonna say, I don't really recommend that you purchase this palette if you have this. If you purchase this alone, you will like it. It's not the best glitter formula I've ever tried in my life, but it is very good and it is a very pretty palette. But I will say, I do think there are a lot of great releases out right now, and I don't think this is a top runner. Maybe with more time, my opinion will change, but right now, it's a gorgeous palette, but 
I got a lot more I want to play with. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this review and enjoyed the comparisons. Overall, I would rate this palette about a seven and a half out of 10. There are some things that I think could be worked on, but overall it is a gorgeous palette, but the need for it, I don't think is that urgent. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this review. Remember to subscribe to my channel, like this video and comment down below if you are picking up this palette or if you think it's too similar to the Wanted palette. Let's get a conversation going. I'm really curious about what you think. So I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.